if you look closely enough, you'll begin to notice that you can actually see the grass growing out here. We've had rain and more rain and more rain and the forecast calls for seven days straight rain. You know what? The package claims that these things are supposed to burn for about 15 minutes. You know, these uh, lighter balls. Shut up, butthead! Well, I'll tell you what, it's been about it's been about 12 minutes and man, that thing is still just cranking out the flames. All right, 18 minutes and some change in. The flame is just about to die on that, but the uh, charcoal is raging, screaming, sparking. It's ready to go. So let's get the grill dome ready. The flicker plate. Slightly dirty grill grape, that's okay. The heat will take care of that. All right, I'm gonna raise the temperature up to about between 350 and 400 degrees Fahrenheit. 350 to 400 degrees is what we're shooting for. Shouldn't take too long. Hey, look at that. In the short time it took to cut those taters up, the grill dome has risen to the occasion. I'm right about 350 degrees, probably a little bit warmer at the grill, uh, the grate level, whatever it is I'm trying to say. So, let's get these things on. And there we go. Just as simple as that. Shut up, whatever you were. Something with, uh, a V6 in it. Anyway, we're gonna let these rock and roll for about 40, 45, maybe 50 minutes until they're beginning to get a little bit tender. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna prep the rest of the stuff that's going into and onto these kick-ass bison summer sausage Hasselback potatoes. Hearing thunder just off to the south. <laughs> Don't rain on my parade. All right, we're about an hour in. As you can probably tell, I've ramped up the temperature just a little bit. Kind of concerned about these storms. It is getting dark just off to the south. So, ooh, looking good. We'll start checking for tenderness using nothing more than a toothpick. Getting there. Getting very close. Oh yeah, these are starting to 
starting to... This one's got a little ways to go. Yep, I'm going to give it another five minutes. And uh, we will continue. Stick around. Damn, plane's right overhead. Shut up, plane. Whatever you're... Uh, whatever. Oh. Wow, that is... I'm going to have to... That looks like some sort of vintage plane. I hope I'm getting it. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out real quick. No, too late. There he is. There he goes. Maybe caught a glimpse of it. See the high V banner? That is the plane that flies over Memorial Stadium on football Saturdays here in Lincoln. I don't know what he's doing out here, but it's nice for... Oh, I know what he's doing out here. <laughs> of course I know what he's doing out here. He came out, uh, he flew over check out where that great aroma is coming from well it's coming from right here the grill dome is an amazing cooker I've had this thing for what four or five maybe six years um, I use it very frequently even when I'm not making video I'm, I'm out here on the grill dome and I know this grill dome really well exactly where I, where I wanted the vent set for a target temperature of 350 degrees. By golly, I've got that dialed in. It's not going anywhere. Love this thing. All right, a few more minutes has passed. These storms are knocking on the door, so let's get on with the next step. As you can see, the uh, bigger slices weren't gonna go all the way, so I cut these, kind of quartered them. so that everything will fit. And that I have enough, you know, enough of the summer sausage for each and every one of these four potatoes. The storms are getting close. Real close. Get in there, you. I know they uh, they look funky, but man, do they smell good! This is definitely going to be one of those messy meals, but you gotta love messy meals, right? Throw some cheese on there. There will be butter and sour cream, but all of that will be off to the side. Especially the butter. I mean the sour cream. All right, that's our cheese. Got our spring onions. I'm just gonna lay them right over the top and hopefully they stay there. They will. The uh, cheese will act as a glue binder. God, this smells so good. What are you gonna do with the rest of that uh, summer sausage there, Mr. Smoky Goodness Guy? I don't know if you can hear that or not, but rain is approaching. It's gonna make this kind of a pan meal. You get what I'm saying? So we're gonna take the rest of our sausage, and where they land is where they stand. going to be eating this right out of the pan. In case you're wondering if you know you want to try this in order for you to pull it off I would highly suggest cutting the uh, summer sausage into much thinner sections or you can do like I did and just uh, go for it. All right five to ten more minutes and given these storms that are just right here it might be a little sooner. The final 10 minutes or 12 or whatever it was <laughs> have passed oh yeah look at that and I say it's time to get these bad rabbits in the house mm -hmm. and if you do them this way be careful Woo! the pan is hot it's also slick cutting board with a towel over it so I don't get any third degree burns on the way in. Let's take these in. Let's eat. There we 
we go. You know what? Saying stir fry oil was the very first ingredient that I added to this, and you can tell it's shining through. But how's it taste there, Mr. Smoky Goodness Guy? First of all, how tender is it, Mr. Smoky Goodness Guy? Perfect. A little sour cream on the side. Grab some of that bison summer sausage. Cheers. <laughs> well, they ain't pretty. They just taste that way. Perfectly tender potatoes. Great summer sausage. Bison summer sausage. The cheese. The sour cream. I think I mentioned that. Green onions. Perfection. Mm. And I'm in a hurry. We have a football game starting on TV in about 20 minutes. So, cheers. <laughs>